let's be honest. When you think of European travel, Albania probably isn't the first country that comes to mind. There's a common misconception that Albania lacks the iconic landmarks and tourist destinations found in its neighboring countries. But that's exactly why so many people miss out on Albania's hidden treasures. This country is filled with ancient cities, untouched landscapes, and a rich cultural heritage that has yet to be fully discovered by mainstream tourism. Today, we're going to dive into these lesser known places, taking you beyond the beaten path. Our journey begins in the vibrant capital of Tirana, a city that perfectly blends the old with the new. Often overlooked by travelers heading straight to the coast, Tirana offers a lively and energetic introduction to Albania. What makes Tirana fascinating is its transformation. Following decades of isolation under communist rule, Tirana has become a colorful and dynamic city. In fact, many of its once drab buildings were repainted to bring life back to the city, symbolizing the country's rebirth. One of the most intriguing aspects of Tirana is how it reflects Albania's complex past. Take the Bunk Art II Museum, for example, a former nuclear bunker turned museum that delves into the dark days of communist surveillance and paranoia. Another must-see is the House of Leaves, a museum dedicated to Albania's communist era secret police. It was here that the regime spied on its own people, a chilling reminder of the country's recent history. If you're exploring the city on foot, a walking tour of Tirana is the perfect way to experience its transformation. Start at Skanderbeg Square, visit the National History Museum, then head to Bunk Art II and the House of Leaves. From there, make your way through the trendy Bloku neighborhood, once reserved for Albania's communist elite, now a bustling area filled with cafes and nightlife. Next, we head to Shkoder, a city rich in history and known as the gateway to the Albanian Alps. Shkoder is one of the oldest cities in the Balkans and is a cultural and historical treasure trove. But Shkoder is also famous for something unexpected. It's called the City of Bikes. During the communist era, Shkoder became known for its widespread use of bicycles, with cars being a rarity and often reserved for government officials. The regime encouraged the use of bicycles as a means of transport for the general population. Biking wasn't just practical, it became a symbol of daily life in communist Albania. Even today, Shkoder is one of the most bike-friendly cities in the Balkans, with locals continuing the tradition. One of Shkoder's main attractions is Rozafa Castle, a fortress that has stood for centuries. According to legend, the castle was only completed after the youngest brother's wife was sacrificed and buried within its walls a haunting story that adds to the intrigue of this historic place. Skoder is not only rich in history, but it's also the perfect jumping off point for adventurers. From here, you can head deeper into the Albanian Alps and discover remote villages like Beth and Valbona, where time seems to stand still. Now, let's move south to the crown jewel of Albania, the Albanian Riviera. If you're searching for crystal clear waters, secluded beaches, and the perfect Mediterranean climate, this is the place for you. Unlike the crowded tourist hotspots in neighboring countries, the Albanian Riviera remains peacefully untouched. Some of the best kept secrets here include the secluded Gipe Beach, where you can reach only by a hike or boat, and the ancient village of Himarai, where history and beach life meet. The Riviera is also home to Butrint, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that was once a major ancient Greek and Roman city. Here, you'll walk through ruins that date back to the 4th century BC, all while overlooking the stunning Ionian Sea. For nature lovers, Beth National Park is a must-visit destination. This remote area, nestled in the Albanian Alps, offers some of the most dramatic landscapes in the country. In Beth, you'll find the Gruner's Waterfall, crystal clear rivers, and traditional stone houses. It's the perfect place for hiking and exploring the raw beauty of Albania. One of the most popular hikes is the Valbona Pass, which connects Beth to the equally stunning Valbona Valley. And when your day of adventure is over, you can experience true Albanian hospitality by staying in one of the local guest houses, where families open their homes and share their traditions with travelers. Let's take a step back in time as we head to Barat, one of Albania's most picturesque towns known as the City of a Thousand Windows. The unique Ottoman era architecture with its cascading houses has earned this city UNESCO World Heritage status. Inside Barat Castle, you'll find ancient churches and mosques offering a glimpse into Albania's multicultural heritage. The views from the top of the castle are unmatched, stretching across the Osum River Valley. Our next destination is Gira Kastar, another UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its unique architecture. The city is made entirely of stone, earning it the nickname the Stone City. At the heart of Gira Kastar lies the castle, one of the largest in the Balkans. From here, you can enjoy sweeping views of the city and surrounding valleys. Gira Kastar is also home to Albania's most famous writer, Ismail Kadari and the house of Enver Hoxha, Albania's former communist dictator, offering a glimpse into the country's complex history. And now, 
we arrive at what might just be the most spectacular place in Albania Lugara Pass. This mountain pass along the Albanian Riviera offers one of the most incredible drives in Europe. As you wind your way through the mountains, the views of the Ionian Sea and the surrounding cliffs will leave you speechless. This is the ultimate reward for any traveler, a hidden gem within a hidden gem where the beauty of Albania is on full display. While exploring Albania, you'll notice a strange sight scattered across the countryside, concrete bunkers. These were built during the communist era under the dictatorship of Enver Hoxha, who feared foreign invasions. It's estimated that around 173,000 bunkers were constructed across the country, and today, many of them still stand as eerie reminders of the country's isolated past. Some have even been repurposed as cafes, museums, and tourist attractions, like bunk art in Tirana. After exploring Albania's hidden gems, your journey doesn't have to end here. Just across the border, Montenegro and North Macedonia offer even more incredible destinations to add to your itinerary. Whether you're heading to the rugged beauty of Montenegro or the cultural richness of North Macedonia, these countries offer a seamless continuation of your adventure in the Balkans. So, pack your bags and get ready to explore more of Europe's hidden gems. If Albania wasn't on your radar before, I hope it is now. From Tirana's vibrant streets to the untouched beauty of the Albanian Riviera, this country is full of surprises. Let me know in the comments which place you'd love to visit first, and don't forget to check out my other video on even more incredible destinations. Safe travels.